Hi guys. Hi. It's paint the paint. With lashes. <laughs> paint lashings. the paint with lashes. Look. Lashings of lashes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Back to business. We just had to start a little bit funny. Don't we look glam? Leah started something. Hi Mary. Hi Mary. I think you might have missed the close up. We need to come in again. Look. Lashes. <laughs> oh, does yours need a little? What's it coming off already? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Push it down. Do it with your finger. Yeah, that's better. Push it, hold it. Push it in. <laughs> my fingers are filthy. This is a new practice. <laughs> You're laughing already. Is it that day already? How yeah, long do I have to hold it? Will my no, finger stick to it? It's not be fine now. I'll get my finger off. <laughs> <laughs> Man's have just had to get get in on the lashes action. Check so. Me yeah, done it. It's quite an improvement. I think. Yeah, it doesn't help my eyesight, don't it? <laughs> it doesn't help my eyesight, no. <laughs> and the rest of me still looks like I've been hit by a truck. <laughs> Never mind, you can't do everything in one day, can birds you? Birds nest, birds nest. Hi, birds Ruth. Birds. Hi, Georgia. So, today oh, yeah. is all about white. Us Brits are always moaning about the fact that the UK want everything in white. Yep. It is a fact. It's flipping annoying. But I hate we, painting white. We both hate painting white. But we thought we'd set ourselves a challenge of can we make white look great. vaguely interesting. Vaguely. Just a bit of playing involved and yeah. still be white. So that we get the sale, but we get the bit out of it that we, we get want the creativity as well. As well. Yeah. yeah. So that's the plan. So we just want to prove. Love in the eye. Thank you. That it's all white <laughs> to be white. Yeah, it's all white to be white. Ta -da. Hey, Jean. Hey, Mary. Hi, girls. So, you've seen Manda's piece. I'm going to just tip it down a little bit because she started on it last week. A few alterations, though. I've gone um, she totally had, white. I, did, I didn't like the grey going she, along. She had a moment. It all went wrong. Well, I'm doing the wardrobe to match. And I decided that the grey wasn't working on the wardrobe. So, um, so I had to change that. And therefore I'm changing this as well. So it is all white to be white. Still got my transfer on the top. Still got some grey uh, distressing stamp on the top. And today I'm going to be using stamps to decorate this piece. What stamps are you using? I am using, well it's a mixture of all IOD ones. Out of different packets really. Um, I wanted to go sort of roses. Yeah, Amanda and... painted it all white. It was half grey. Um, so I'm going to go in with a bit of distress along the sides like I did at the top and then there's a mixture of sort of leaves and florals. She's like my best IOD customer ever. Yeah, I yeah. am. <laughs> She's got all this off me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fab. So yeah, loads, loads and loads of these florals. I don't know if you can see those there. I love that one. Mm. So it's going to be, yeah. All rosy posy and swags and gorgeousness. Um, yeah, <laughs> Paul has got. She's um, had her new delivery of IOD. I had a delivery. It's almost all gone. So I went it, in I, and picked. I know. I and I. She she had the leftovers because she didn't do what I keep asking everyone to do, which is pre-order. <laughs> if you definitely want something, you need to pre-order. Yeah, you do. But while we're on it, just quickly. Because I have got some of these things left, and I can't believe these haven't sold yet, because I really want to have a go at one of these. This is the Astoria foliage, which looks perfectly cool black on white, I thought, actually. Oh, they're paintable ones, aren't they? But it's also paintable, and you can use the Tim Holtz crayons. This is the same, paintable. It's it's um, the Winter Song wreath, and it's like a circle wreath. It look, I think, again, would look really cool either, as it is, all painted. Well, I'm having that one on I don't know what I'm putting it on yet, but um, I'm thinking I'm just going to again stick with it um, as it is. I've got a couple of these back in stock. They go like hot fire, so if you want them, get on my website and buy them while you can. They do, because she says to me when I want something, she says, no, it's out of stock. <laughs> I do. Now I'm just going to show you what I've got left, because this stuff is expensive, so I, I, I do my orders based on what you guys are asking for, so... I've got the cherub. I've got fleur de lis mold. I've got the sea sisters mold that I used on my cupboard. 
I've got the classical elements mold, which is really cool. That's one Manda's bought today. I've got the swag. And I've got the laurel. In, uh, yeah, laurel. In fact, the only of the new moulds that I haven't got at the moment is the wings and feathers. I've got, well, I have got some wings in the indie folk stamp. It's quite cool. I've got one of those left. I've got one farmyard. This is how low it gets. And then I've got to save up my pennies and do another order. It's ridiculous. I have two huge boxes arrived. I've got one crackle left. I've got a couple of these left. This is the back plates. A lot of you invested your money in the knob stamps and the um, knob tool, but this is the next accessory that goes behind the knobs. It looks really cool. I've got it. She's got it. Of course she's got it. Of course I've got it. If you want to redo your floor, I've got a couple of these. Cubana tile. I've got a few of these. Painterly's back in stock. And last but not least, this is a double stamp. This is the barnyard plank. That's back in stock. I've got a couple of those. So the Laurel, all of these stamps are £20 plus postage, which is a fiver. But if you order two of them, you still pay a five, just one fiver. And this is a double stamp, which is £40. But the other single stamps are 30 plus a fiver postage. Okay. So if you buy multiple items, I do try my best to combine the postage for you. Um, and the transfers are 30 as well. So yes, an investment, but it is an investment. investment. It's certainly, I mean, the transfers are for a one-off amazing piece, um, because you can only use them once, but they do make stunning pieces, and they almost guarantee your piece will sell, I would say, because as soon as I put one of those on, it sells. The stamps are obviously a great investment because you can use them over and over again, as Amanda's, Amanda is demonstrating well, right I've, now. Well, I've had this one since they came out. And you can use them with paint or ink on my resources page on um, my website. There is a link to the ink that I use so that you can go straight to it and know what it is. Also, the Tim Holtz crayons that I'm talking about, there's a picture of them and a link to, to Amazon where you can buy them there and have a look at for the colouring in ones because they're brilliant for it. I posted a little video on my Facebook page of the wreath one and um, the IOD sister showing you colouring it in with crayons and then adding water and it turns it into paint, it's lovely. So, worth having a look at that too. Amanda's actually rollering on her stamp, you can see. Yep. She's got a little roller. Got my, um, just. She's got a little normal paint dish, little roller. And she's rolling it on so it depends on the look for the more detailed stamps i think the ink is better and you can use the ink well you can actually use chalk paint and ink on fabric as well so these stamps can be used to stamp up fabric too which is really cool and for the molds you need either paper clay or um amazing resin again pictures on my resources page of both items whichever you prefer to use whatever's your personal choice they're on there and i've also got a link to a two-part glue to make them really quick and easy to apply to your piece of furniture but everything you need to know is on my website www.fairyshecomporium.co.uk so that over with just wanted to show you what i've got in because people keep messaging me what have you got left what you've got left and i thought you know what i'm just going to cover it now <laughs> when she says people it's usually me <laughs> Well, have you got? Have you got? It's all my friends that don't think that they need to pre-order. It's not just Manda. I've got a few that, that all want it but don't get round to it. So I've got, I found in my local junk shop this little. Well, Manda's faffing around on that. That's looking faffing. good. Faffing. Look at that. That looks good, doesn't it? Isn't that pretty? I like that a lot. I'm gonna have some roses in my bonnet. Or... Is that my grey? Yes. Yes. That's, that's coming out really that's, nice. Um, I like that. Malia, yeah. Malia. Okay. Well, I found this little writing bureau in my in my local hall shop that I go to fairly regularly, and I think it's MDF. I don't think it's anything wowy in wood, but it's got a really lovely inside, which I've sanded down, which is why it's looking all dusty. And I think I'm going to try and stain it so it looks really sort of nice and dark wood because I quite like the internal as it is, and usually I paint them. But I do quite like it. So I sort out, I'm going to have a go, it's quite old, found it in the garage. 
Hey Malia. Hiya. Yeah, found this old stain uh, it, which you just paint on. So I'm going to have a go and see if that actually changes because it's a little bit orangey and I'd like it to look a little bit dark oaky. You've got to show Malia. Oh, what? Me, me, um, me new look. Amanda's got a new look, Malia. Oh I my god, it's catching. Amelia. She's just stamping. Just stamping. So I found a very old stencil. Um, that I've got and unfortunately I've kind of ruined it because it's been folded in half in my case This is the thing and it's sort of cracked down here, but I'm gonna just Ooh, yeah. use this section here to do a raised stencil today Right, Malia, wait for it da, 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 Drum roll ah! <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Doesn't it? Transforms yes. her I Just need a decent hairdo and some red lips and I'll be fine <laughs> Hi Sharon <laughs> <laughs> Work now. Yeah, let's get back to work. Okay. Enough, of, enough of the pretties. So, to do a raised stencil, I have masking taped it into place. I've masked off the areas that I don't want to um, put plaster through. And today I'm going to use, it doesn't really matter what you use, you can use thick up paint, tile grout. I've got some, I found it in my cupboard, pearl plaster, which has got a slightly pearlescent feel to it. And it's ready mixed and ready to go, so I'm just going to use that. I don't necessarily need the pearlised bit of it because I'm going to paint over it. But I'm just going to use a normal old card to scrape it up like so. And I'm going to scrape it through the stencil. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'll just do it little sections at a time. Doing it quite thin, doesn't have to be thick, it's just going to give a nice little raised. Those of you that missed the beginning, our aim, I don't know if it's achievable honestly, but our aim is to make white interesting because every flipping UK person seems to want to buy white, and obviously, we want sales. So you have that in white. Do you have it in white? <laughs> getting asked. Yeah. And uh, so we thought, do you know what? Let's see if it's possible to do white, make it beautiful, but make it interesting creatively for us too. So this is the challenge. So I would have had more creations going, I would have had more prep done if Amanda hadn't been. <laughs> entirely hogging the room for the whole morning <laughs> and she came in and said what are you doing to the other room I said well I'm just sat here there's no room is there she blames me for everything <laughs> don't you hun so I cooked her tea cooked her lunch yes I had a lovely lunch a pea soup she's homemade my famous homemade pea soup today love pea soup but we had we had to race it down. Didn't we? <laughs> we had five minutes to eat it before the live. So come on, we've got five minutes. <laughs> so we had no bread because we didn't have time for bread. Pea soup was absolutely boiling. Boiling. <laughs> so we've both got burns on the roof of our mouth. <laughs> Can barely speak. But we didn't want to make for you. Because we did like that. And then we had to get eyelashes on. Yeah, it was the, most important, wasn't with, it? With the sweat coming on from the boiling up soup. We just <laughs> Done. I was having a hot one. So, can you see, guys, how easy that was? I'm literally just scraping it through, putting any excess back in the pot. It really is that easy. There we go. What do you think? Is that pretty? It's really pretty. Really pretty. So, I'm going to go along now and do that in the front. Hello, sweetie. Do you want stamping? <laughs> do you want stamping? Do you want to give me your paw? What do you want? Whoa! That means not me lashes. That means you're offering me something good. Not me lashes. If the sentence <laughs> starts with do you want, do you want? It means there might be a treat involved. Ah, no. Now I've said it out loud. Oh, Ladies no. of the lashes. <laughs> that's better than the lady of the night. Ladies of the lashes. Yeah. Yeah, that's come out really nice and that's been I'm just gonna take the camera down so you can see it a bit close up. Hang on. Oh, mine? Yeah, just, just. Oh, get closer. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's done with paint. Now, if you do it with ink, you get slightly more detail. Although that's come out pretty detailed. Yeah. 
I think that's... I just wanted it to be that particular colour. I wanted to stick with that grey, which is why I chose that. Rather. She's put that on with a roller so that it hasn't got too loaded up because you don't want it No, you thick. Don't, it's got to just sit on the top of the, the stamp good, rather than it? go underneath it. Now, this is my raised stencil. So it's really scraped through and I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to peel it off. While you're there with the camera, can I just show you what oh, yeah. I'm intending to do with the feet? Can um, you see the feet? Yeah. Because what I want to do, I want to leave the feet so I've got a little bit of wood coming through. So I've just masked off, because you can see on the other foot it's all very painty and, and you know. So I've, I've masked off where I want my foot to end um, and I've take, taken it back with sandpaper to get, make sure I've got all the paint off and make sure I've got the top layer of varnish off. Um, and I just, I just happened to wipe it over then, get all the dust off with this cloth. And then remembered my cloth had hemp oil on oh, from another that's project. Why it looks so so nice. that's why it looks. But I w I'm going to be showing you that later. Yeah. With the, with the actual hemp oil. Hemp oil is gorgeous stuff. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Right. So I'm going to. Oh. It is lovely, Matt. Right, my um, camera's wobbling around. I don't know how to stabilise it. Moving around now. Hang on a minute. I'm just going back behind the camera to. It's, it keeps shifting. Why? It's like the weight of the camera is... I do always seem to have my back to you when I'm sorry about that. I can't do anything about this camera. Why? What's happened? It keeps tipping forward, but I think we need it to tip forward a bit. It needs to come forward a bit, doesn't it? Um, Hi, Jack. You can't see me, as long as you can see what I'm doing. Right, I just want you to see me taking off the weight sensor. So some of it popped up. Hopefully it'll be okay. I've got a little bit of smudgy. That's just because I've been messing around. I'm just going to take the stencil out. Take it. Ooh, that's looking good. I love doing a raised stencil. It just gives everything an extra dimension. So that's going to look fab. It's in, a, it's in a French script, um, and as Paula was saying, some of it's just gone a little bit fuzzy, but that's easy to clean up. You can use your fingernail or go in there with a blade and just clear, clean that up. Looks good. It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. So what I've got is some normal like ear, ear, I don't know what you call them, earbuds. And I'm just going to use them to clean up. It won't really need it because by the time it's painted over the top, yeah, you'll only see the red bits. Down. Actually. Yeah, so I've got in my head, just spreading it out a bit, really. Yeah, it's really fine. I'm not going to worry too much. That was the biggest bit. And this is what happens when you get an old stencil really, you need to look after them. This particular stencil was quite expensive, like 50, 60 pounds. Yeah, I mean they're not cheap but they do, they do last. But you've got to look after them. Yes, you do. And we're not great at that. You kind of know what I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I missed a bit too much. much. So. I missed what you used to make your raised stencil. Well, I just use this because I've got it ready used and it's lasted me forever. It's an artisan enhancement product, which is a USA product. It's called Pearl Plaster, but it's just ready made. This particular one is like pearlescent, so it gives a nice sheen. If you wanted it as the top, the top bit of the raised, it would make it. And you can actually mix it up with coloured paint as well, so that you can make it like pearlised pink or green or whatever you want. So it's quite cool. I bought it ages and ages ago and it's lasted me forever because you only need the minutest bit but there's lots of products out there that will achieve raised stencil so i just use that and a normal card to scrape it on so i've got to let that dry obviously and i could speed that up with a hair dryer but oh no um we're not we'll be able to hear ourselves are we no oh, i forgot to get my white paint out Have you, is that white I've got white. yeah that's white, go for it. I'll, I'll swap you. It's because she was hogging the space. 
Seriously, I couldn't even get in the cupboard to get my white paint out. <laughs> Seriously, it's that bad. It's not that bad. Yes, yeah, so I loved Ray's stencils too. I think they, I just thought, do you know, it's a writing bureau for start, and they are one. Even though they take the longest time, they are one of my favourite things to do. I just like the idea of there must be a story behind writing bureaus. I can just imagine someone sat at it writing their letters as we used to do. Love letters. <laughs> I don't want to think about them like writing their bills or things like that, that's just boring, but yeah, I, I, I'd like the story, and sometimes we find interesting things in these items, <laughs> like a hair net, I had a hair net, I had a hair net, what did you have I had a shoe plaster thingy. for your foot, very useful. Sewing kits, don't you? I've yes, those little um, envelope ones. Yes. yes I had a limited edition plate once with um from the war. Really? Yeah. That was a bit of a find. It was. It was very cool. But I looked it up on eBay, thinking I was maybe rich. One pound ninety nine. <laughs> limited edition, for goodness sake, and it was lovely. So we do that. Something. Limited edition. <laughs> hey, chick chickies. That's Gina. Yeah, only Gina. <laughs> Hiya. Good morning. Heading to work. Going to replay later. Cool. Who's that, Gina Longo? The first bit was. The second bit was. Tonda. Tonda Night Mullins. Well, Tonda. That doesn't ring a bell, to be honest. So I'm just going in with everyday white chalk paint at this point. I actually sanded this down because the varnish on it was really quite shiny. Normally I wouldn't, but it was very shiny. And Amanda said as she'd finished hogging the room for the whole morning, <laughs> are you going to zinza it? And I said no. You will end up putting zinza on it in some part. So we don't know if we're going to get bleed through or not. Of course, I didn't have a chance to zinza it, even if I'd have wanted oh, to. Oh, <laughs> So it'd be interesting to see, because I tend to, she tends to zinza her head a bit. I tend to zinza if and when I've got a problem. One, because I'm lazy. Yeah, she I, is. And I want to skip her. <laughs> skip her a um, stage if I don't need it and two I, I don't want to waste the product either I'm going to stick with that I don't <laughs> want to waste the product thing is I tell you what it's not cheap no it's, well it's, since it's about 20 22 pounds yeah I don't know how that relates but it's about I guess that relates to 26 27 dollars so it's no it's not cheap look at this didn't you put white on it makes it look like a really small petite Whiting bureau. Let's change the size of it. White definitely. I've just worn because I'm using paint on this rather than the the stays on ink that I would normally use. Um, it is important if you do go over. If you do get your paint over the the, um, the lines, do go in and just wipe it off with a cloth or your fingers or something because you don't want that sort of coming out as a smudge when you do it. No. Shall I? Now I'm wondering if I can move the camera down now because I'm going to go down. That's going to give us enough space. Close up on Manda, please. Your wish is my command. Manda or Manda's wife? <laughs> there we go. I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm just using the ends of my fingers just to make sure that I go over every little bit. Just lightly. And guys, but firmly. I would recommend really not using acrylic paint because it's really hard to wash off unless you wash it off really, really quickly. Yeah. Can you see that? There's quite a lot of light going on, but I think you can. So it's you, you can see what's happened here. Where the, the um, drawers are, it's kind of missed a little bit underneath, but that's okay because what I'm going to be doing later is sanding this back so it's going to have more of a distressed look than a 
freshly printed look. So it won't look so popping. So popping. That looks really nice, really nice. Thank you. Right, I'm gonna I'm put this up here. Hopefully you can sort of see both of us now. I've still got this droopy necked flipping camera. <laughs> Is the screw not screwed up? Well, yeah. It is. it is, isn't it? <laughs> I, I can tape it. Do you want me to tape it round? That's why I got the tape, but then we keep moving. So, you know, let's. Here you go. Hold it there. Nobody Back wants there. a droopy camera. <laughs> More a bothersome, you know what. <laughs> yes, I'm still wanging it on is, about the bothersome, you know what. It is very early in the US. <laughs> well, that's true. Apologies. <laughs> See if that will hold it. There we go. Ooh la la, it looks lovely. Yeah, it does look lovely. So you see, white. We're already crossing the benchmark, making it. Who said ooh la la anyway? Liz Ould. Liz Ould said ooh la la. Yeah, she's joined our group this week. I was going to ask you about your group because what's coming up this month? Well, I know there's always something, but what's coming up in particular this month? Malia and I try to have sort of one thing each that we offer, you know, because obviously we have different set, skill set. And Malia's skill set, amongst other brilliant things, is she's really, really good. And I'm sure you'll agree just from seeing her pictures at staging oh yeah it's she is like phenomenal us. and so because we did quite a lot of work um we've done quite a lot of stuff this month on instagram and instagram's very much about pictures and images looking visually aesthetically pleasing malia is going to be doing quite a lot this month on staging brilliant and showing us how to do it and how not to do it it's amazing how many people ask about staging. Yeah, That's and it's a difficult one, isn't really it? Really important to help you sell your piece, so I'm really excited about that. So that's what Malia is bringing to the table this month. And what are you doing? I, well, most of you guys will know that I do quite a lot. Of, I've started quite a lot of videos and tutorials. So I have started. I've done the first one, but I haven't posted it yet. A actual tutorial on how to edit with free software your own video so we're not talking about editing lives we're talking about sitting in your room on your own in your own time when you're feeling confident setting the camera up saying right this is what I'm going to be doing today blah 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 and this is what I'm going to be using so first thing I'm going to do is cover it in this I'll come back when that's done press stop then do the next bit then do the next bit, then do the next bit. So it's controlled, it's not embarrassing, you're not waiting, you, you know, you're not trying to, you, you, you've got time to plan what you're going to say and what you're going to do. Do you know what, that's what I need. And then I show you how to actually put it all together, edit it, add music, um, fast forward bits, all, this, all the stuff you need using free software. So that's what I'm bringing to the table. That's right. That. I really need to see. Because if you remember when we first started, one of our challenges was to set up your YouTube channel. So this is moving on. I know you've got a YouTube channel. I've got a YouTube channel. So it's moving on from that so that then you can put your material onto your YouTube channel and eventually start monetizing it. Because in our group, we are all about trying to help people make some money. I'll tell you what I do like about the group. Um, it's I'm really interested to hear what you think because we don't get to talk about it that much. No, we're always talking about this. Um, yeah. No, but it's like, um, like you were saying about, you know, Malia's skill set, your skill set. Um, and it's not just about that. It's about you, you get um, people on. Like Malia had um, somebody doing that, that paint pouring. And, yeah, you that's know, cool. Um, it's not about sticking to one thing. I do sort of French-inspired pieces. That's sort of, I've found that's what I'm good at. You know, I have to try and loads of different techniques of, of different things. This is what I, and, and it's sort of become my thing. But if you don't really know what your thing is yet, you've got to try, haven't you? Different. 
all the different, different things. Techniques. And even when you do know what your thing is, it, it's a bit like painting everything white, if that's your thing. Oh, it would be boring, wouldn't it, to do the same thing? Wouldn't it be boring to do the same thing? And isn't it fun to, to go, oh, I'd like to have a go at that. And people have come out of the woodwork trying new techniques, new things that they didn't know they could do. And, you know, I think that's really cool too, that yeah. we don't stick to the same thing. No. And, and we what well, we found as well, haven't we, when we try something? And we invite you guys to try it too, and you do, and you show us your, you know, whether it's great or whether it needs a bit of work or whether it's really not your thing, you know. Um, Doesn't matter, you tried. I just put that stamp on upside down. Um, but I'll wait till the paint dries and I can address <laughs> that problem. <laughs> See, with the rose ones, it doesn't matter if it's kind of upside down, but that was biting, I think. No, it looks really silly. Um, and that's what I like about our shows. You know, you get it real time, guys. Even when it goes wrong, Even you get it real time. Even when horribly, horribly We're wrong. not perfect. We haven't set it up. It's not, not you know. <laughs> yeah, so many people did the acrylic pause, Malia. You're absolutely right. Yeah, they did. And, and I've yet to do it. mine, and I'm going to. I want to do it on some drawers. But that was another example of, and I've watched lots of YouTube videos on video pause, but she, um, Beverly, who did it for us, she was lovely. She, she was lovely, but she actually gave us some real inexpensive alternatives for the products. Because when you list, especially if you're in the UK, a lot of the products in the in the um, most of the tutorials are ones that are hard to get hold of, and or are expensive. When actually, there's quite a lot of very normal household she was stuff. Using household stuff. What yeah, the oils and the oils that stuff. you can use and explaining what each of the ingredients did so that was really cool yeah and i kind of like that um you know some of the stuff you, you might not have in your house and she so she said well don't worry about that then you know don't put that in don't put yeah. that in yeah this is the essential <laughs> so you don't have to be armed with a big shopping list do you well and if you're trying something new and you don't even know if it's going to work for you you don't want to have to go and spend a fortune just to try it do you no Right, where's this going? I think just that there. See, Amanda's piece is looking far more interesting than mine because she's doing all the decorative bit. Which I might have mentioned earlier, I would have been further along. <laughs> <laughs> Banging on about that again. <laughs> she could have, we could have quite happily worked no, no, side no, by no. side. Like, <laughs> you can stop on, off you went. Wagging your tail behind you. <laughs> you do make me laugh. Do you remember when it was a, a couple of weeks ago you, you were supposed to be round at a certain time? Now, anyone that knows me knows I don't like getting up in the morning. So <laughs> I, 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 I hone Amanda in and go, exactly what time are you arriving so that I've got maximum time in bed? Especially as I've got to walk the dog before she comes. So I'd said, and so she'd said, I'll be there at half nine. So I'd got up, crack of dawn. And um, crack of crack of dawn. <laughs> I say this if JPO's watching, shame on me. Crack of late, JPO, late J, morning. JPO told me yesterday she gets up at 5.15. Well, well that's, that's just, just ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's like the middle of the night. That's a night shift. Um, yeah, no. But you said half nine. Yes. So I was up, staggered up. And then she strolled in at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. So she was then due around the next day, so I didn't bother getting up. <laughs> and she arrived and hubby answered the door and said oh, she's still in bed yeah. and I came down and said well yesterday you said half nine and you turned up at eleven and she said oh stop banging on about the past that's, <laughs> that's, that's the past yeah yesterday's stop the past dragging up the past <laughs> <laughs> well she asked me again yesterday what time would I be here today yeah um, and, and, you know, stipulated that, you know, I don't want to get out of bed too early if you're not going to be here. And bear in mind, I have to walk the dog and blah, 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 blah. Well, I come straight after dropping Hannah off at school. And I don't know what the traffic's going to be like. I don't do that. My children take themselves to school for that very reason. Yeah, well, I'd like to see Hannah try. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows where she'd end up. Um, but, you know, we were having this conversation sort of yesterday. And you don't know what's going to happen during your morning, do you? Yes. Yes, you do. No. <laughs> no, <you didn't. laughs> Are we going to fall out about this? <laughs> anyway, I was Anywho. up. Anywho, I was up, not at five fifteen. Oh, my legs! <laughs> I swear my ankle's gone to sleep. We're getting old. Hello. 
<laughs> we got a noodle. We've got a noodle. Hello, Susie Chops. Hello. Oh. Paint the noodle. What's she put? What's my nail saying? What is break of dawn? That's half the morning gone. Yeah. What nine is break of dawn? No, it's not. You get it <laughs> later than anyone I know. Do I? Yeah. Always. Yeah. I always have. But you do stay up a lot later than I do. I don't know. I just need my sleep. I need ten hours. I've talked myself into I need ten hours sleep. Otherwise, I tell myself the whole day I feel really ill and that I need to lie down. I do. It's true. <laughs> what can I say, ladies? And let's face it, Amanda, while you're sitting there with your judgment piggy on. Yeah. Who often has a little snoozel? I do often have a little snoozel. And I ring anymore? and you go, I was just off for a snoozel at <laughs> 11 <laughs> in the morning. It's because I'm up so early. <laughs> Feel the need. I feel we're at an age where it's okay to just go. <laughs> well, I was gonna say I'm not gonna judge you, but there's gotta be someone else out there that likes to get up late. Well I think if you don't need to, then that's fair enough, isn't it? So you do stay up quite late. But I still have to get kids to school and that sort of stuff. Mm. Oh, look at me, look at me. It's all looking really French and beautiful. It is. Very, very beautiful. Unfortunately, guys, if you're falling in love with Manda's piece, I haven't got that stamp in. It's called Rose 12. So if you want it, you'll have to um, pre-order it. And I will be putting an order, another order in. Until we get a UK distributor, the situation in the UK is always going to be a bit of a waiting game. Because the French distributor that I buy from has to wait for it to be shipped to her. Mm. I don't want anyone else to have this. <laughs> I don't want anyone else to have this gorgeousness. I keep hearing people. Hello, hubby. <laughs> it's Paula's hubby. You all right? Yeah. No bleed through, you'll be glad to know. Hi, Hazel. <laughs> What's a snooze? Well, that's an afternoon nap in Manda's terms. It's, it's a snooze. No, she goes back to bed. A snooze. <laughs> it's like a, a little snooze. 40 winks. Only not. No. Is that really such a thing that you just sit in a chair and doze off for 10 minutes and then feel totally revived? I can't believe that. I can do. I could do a whole hour. <laughs> Once I've gone, oh God, it's a proper hour. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need just a little bit more of the writing. I yeah. do, and I'm going to put it on the right way. And I've got, I've got some dragonflies I want to put on as well. That is really nice. Look at it. Look at hers. Hers is all special. Can you see all this lovely stamping? And now look at Paula's. Look at mine, but it has got a bit of raised stenciling at the top. That's true. Which, and I'm going to do some distressing. And I'm going to do, and I can't decide yet whether I'm going to do black wax or dark brown wax because I'm going to do the inside a dark oak, so it might look better with a dark brown wax, do you think? If to, that's to what tie you, yes, in. it ties in better with the. It's beautiful, Manda. Gina's admiring oh. your work. Being so lovely to me, yeah. you'll make me cry. But you're facing that way, and you've got she's see the back Gina, of my she's head. She's got beautiful eyelashes today. Look, <laughs> my, I've probably got eyeliner running it's down. It's catching this whole <laughs> eyelashes thing. Look what you started, Lady M. The trouble is, she put them on and then said, Oh my goodness, I can't believe I haven't done this years ago. Like, because your eyes just pop immediately. I was just gonna say, Right, paint that when you've got a dry brush. Can I just have a bit? Yes, please. Sorry, I interrupted you. Do you want a bigger brush? No, because I've sort of done my first coat. Look at that. 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 Look at that.
but they're actually really easy to put on and they just made a massive difference. So thank you, Malia. I'm pretty all of a sudden. <laughs> That's going to have to dry because that looks like a big pretty. smudgy I'm mess. just going to turn this round because I can't, this has got to completely dry as well. All I can do is do my side. Again, I did a huge sanding job to scrub it up. Oh, kick in the frame, sorry guys. I need to try some eyelashes, you so do. Everybody goes, if you're <laughs> not wearing eyelashes, eyelashes next week, you're not what coming. What kind to buy? Where's the box? Um, hang on. Hang on, I'll show you. We're going to have, we've got a little girly trip planned, haven't we? We have. Because my daughter wants to have a little girly makeup trip. And you're so, all welcome to come with us. So, <laughs> yep. So we're going to try. I think these were from Boots. These were called Allure. Allure. Yeah, we're going to put it. We're going to put it in our resources group, <laughs> in the members group, that. because the <laughs> popular, due to popular demand, <laughs> everybody wants them. And do you know what, Malia and I are also researching, um, we have very similar taste in dung what I call them dungarees, but rompers or whatever. So Overalls. Yes, especially for painting. Um, we're not all about this sort of perfect look, we're about this, yeah, let's get painting and messy. And yeah, we could do a little tutorial how to put them on. <laughs> <laughs> a whole new ball game. So yeah, we could we could have a whole fashion wear, but bit by bit, Malia and I was laughing the other night. But we're starting to turn into our emojis that we created with the Bitmoji app for our original logo. That's how we created us. And when I look at my Bitmoji. It's me. <laughs> Emily has got a new bitmoji now that isn't on our logo, but she's added a beanie to hers. <laughs> Tonight I'll be wearing my stripy jumper and my beret. Yeah. My basket beret. Now I've gonna have I'm gonna have hardware going on here as well, so I need to be aware of that. Um That looks so nice. Now I've done that those stamps on the back of a white dresser you know like a welsh oh, dresser yes on the back there, that would really be. nice oh that would look nice have you got the packet of that well it's a 12. there's several because the picture on the back packets so it's a really nice demonstration of it i've just kind of thrown everything together from where we're at home that doesn't sound like you no not at all you're usually so organized and tidy uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm taking up such little room. So rude. <laughs> that's it. Yes. Yes. Oh, that, that's on a dresser. Yeah. Look. How pretty Look that is. Look at that on the back of a dresser. How pretty is that? That's definitely white with a bit of something, isn't it? That's white that's, with grey or, or um, that's making like a, it, a, yeah, that's a grey making it work. Kind of that's definitely that. making white work. So, how are we doing for time? I'm guessing okay. I'm just going under the cover so here. Somebody put the time up for us. Oh, actually, I've got my. Uh, my I'm hoping that we've showed you some stuff these days. Some weeks we're a little bit more chatty, and not a lot seems to get done. It's and then quarter other, two. Other weeks we've sort of actually showed you some new stuff. So let's just take these down because i want to have a go at doing the um the we do like both of us a lot one of the things that is our thing is trying as many different products as we can yeah i don't see why i mean i get some people are stockists of certain brands and makes but i mean i've said to you before i i will go with anything i like to try different products <laughs> go with that sounded a bit rude didn't it <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> um, no, but I'd like to try different products and see how they work. What? And you know, <coughs> if we can find a cheaper alternative for something, yeah, then I will. You yeah. know, why waste money? Um, say that. Right. Sorry, I'm faffling a bit at the moment because I want to 
I'm gonna bring the camera around. Naked again, yeah. <laughs> Just naked again. <laughs> what are you talking about? You'll go with anything. Go with anything, I do do that. Even after the chance. <laughs> right. Let's talk hemp oil. Okay. So I've got my leg and um, you can't see it at the moment. So I'm gonna go on, pinch the goodbye, Paula. Hello, leg. No, it's still too far down. Right, let's bring these down a bit because I really want you to see this. So I'm just going to bring the tripod down so that you are at a better angle. We're both sort of huddled together in quite a tight space. And it's easier for us to move some of the furniture to move. So, okay. Can you see? No, I've taken you too far back there. Alrighty. This is my foot. As I say, I've masked off um, so I know where I want the paintwork to end. Um, and I've gone in and I've sanded. Um, just going to give it a quick final. Uh, light sand because before it had quite a stiff sand to it okay so I'm just going to give it a quick light sand so that it's as smooth as I can possibly make it okay. just rub away the sanding right so this is my hemp oil uh, it's a fusion product you can see that um, and it's got a fab safety cap on that my hands don't like these days. <laughs> Old and arthritic, like my knees. Okay, so I'm just going to use a cloth. I'm going to dab down onto the cloth. I can see comments coming up. I'll answer you in a moo, if you don't mind. Okay, making sure it doesn't get onto the paintwork. That's why I've got my masking tape there. It's really good for dry furniture as well, isn't it? It puts the moisture back in. Yes. You've got really dry wood. Be because it is the hemp oil, it really it treats it. So it's good. I'm like giving it a. How much was it, man? Um, I'm unsure because it, it came through with other products. Is it about twenty-two. So it's about that. It's yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it came through with a couple of samples that I needed as well. Okay. So I've just given it a nice generous coat um if there's any fusion people out there i might be doing this completely the wrong way and if you've got any tips for me then please let me know but i did it on part of the wardrobe uh yesterday and that seemed to be the way to go okay it'd be lovely on a tabletop oh i can't wait to try it on a tabletop yeah. i know just the piece well it's, it's a sideboard actually but it'll be magnificent on it i'm sure so, so that's my leg, okay? Oh, that's me getting a message. <laughs> Did you? Okay. Right, right. we're about kind of at rounding up stage, I think. Yeah, I am, definitely. Yeah, and I've just painted the other side. Let's just see. Can you use the hemp oil on an exterior door? I don't know, but we'll, we'll find out. Can you use I haven't got my specs. No. It's basically like an oil. What is oil? It's used on any unfinished wood or milk painted surface. Can be used over other paints to increase lustre. Penetrates to protect from the inside out. Can be used to restore the lustre of old paint with one coat. Try on an inconspicuous spot to see how it works. Use a brush or rag. Oh, that was okay. Because I didn't even read the instructions. <laughs> so it says... For additional protection, apply one of our wax top coats. Yep, that's what I will be doing. Maintenance, apply a coat every other year or as needed. Right. Soap and water, clean up. Dry time, 24 hours to touch. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so we have done the right thing. So I guess, yes, you could use it for outdoors doors, but then you need to seal and protect the door over the top of it. Yeah. However you would do that. I'll, I'll be using a, but it will give it a clear wax over this, give or maybe it, a dark. It's really darkened it and given it a beautiful colour. Because these were incredibly um, kind of chipped and what have Worn you. Worn and bruised looking, In fact, there's one of them, it might be that one over the back, I think has been um, nibbled at by a dog, Poppy uh, probably. <laughs> a bit battered. 
bit battered like me. Um, so yeah, I, I need to do the wet up. sanding with it. I'm not sure if I did that right. I tried to do the wet sanding with it. With the wet sanding with hemp oil. I'm not sure. I need to go back to see if you've made another comment. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Somebody loves me. Right, so thank you for watching guys. I'm going to put a link to my website um, for the IOD products that we talked about earlier. I'm also going to put a link to the resources page so that you can go and have a look at the products that go with the IOD products. Yep. Um, if you're in the group, I am going to add eyelashes to our exclusive resources page. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like going to add in the um, comments a group to our a link to our group as well. Should you want to join, and you should want to join. Why would you not want to join? It's the best group ever. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, honestly, so much information and um, so much creativity on there. Yeah, and we have join. our UK numbers are growing, and by the by the week our numbers are going up and up and up. So join us. There's lots there for you. I, if you you don't believe me message me or talk to to one of the others in the so, group but so much we are all learning and growing together yeah. and that's the point we're not claiming to be experts on everything if we don't know it we get experts in yeah and it's not it's not like you know we do this paint and a pint it's a bit of fun it's a laugh um you're you're learning when you join that group you are learning a lot an awful lot you're not just listening to us having a cheeky hour yeah, with join you. us nisha nisha's in go for it Go for it, and you'll real, you'll recognise lots of names that you know. Yeah. Just you know, we're from a, here. We're creating a family tribe. Yeah. And we're all helping each other and supporting each other. It's true. It's really cool. Yeah, it's a really cool place to be every evening. People are making it's, friends there. Do you know? We looked at our analytics, and we've got currently fifty-three members, I believe. We looked at our analytics only the other day, Malia and I. We have a hundred percent, hundred percent, people getting involved. On a weekly basis. There you go. Commenting, posting, everyone's getting something out of it. Can't say better than that. Mm. So cool. So join, 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 join. Hi ladies, hi JPO. Go back to bed. You got up way too early this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Five fifteen is just seriously not normal. But just got up to watch us. <laughs> Five fifteen now. Yeah. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Sharon. Yes, it is the best group. So if you want to know, yes, want to hear in. it from those that are in it, ask them. Bye, Karen. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. It's been cool. Yeah, she's planning to buy this. <laughs> good morning from California. Oh, wow. good morning, California. Good morning. Hope the sun's shining. See, See you next you. week. Same time. Bye. 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 Bye.